Hi guys, this is Andrea Hazel and I'm the VBC Kids Director and I get to do the Daily 3 Prayer with you today. So first I must say, if you have not gotten one of these Daily 3 books, they are super helpful. At the beginning it has the passage for the day, which personally I do uh, my devotions in the morning and so I can open it up and see, I don't have to hunt for it. Um, and then it asks those three questions, what does it say about God, what does it say about me, and then what I'm going to do about it, and a place for you to write down any prayer requests or things that you'd like to pray about. So it's really, really helpful. So. After Actually, I'm going to use that to um, point out the three things that stuck out to me that we want to pray about today. Um, John 17, 1 through 8 was the passage that Matt shared with us yesterday. And so the three things that I want to pray about were, um, one, it says, glorify your son that your son may glorify you. And so um, I want to pray that we'll bring him glory. The second thing was it says that, and this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So I want to pray for our loved ones who don't yet know Jesus. And the last thing that Matt shared was that this is eternal life so that we'll live each and every day how God would have us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, um, God Almighty, um, creator of the entire universe, lover of our souls, I thank you so much for sending Christ to ransom our souls. I thank you uh, for his life that he sacrificed, that um, it could be that ultimate sacrifice for us. I'm so, so grateful that you included us um, as part of that, Father. Um, we are not worthy. Um, we are not worthy um, of your glory, and your greatness, and your majesty. Um, but I thank you so much. I thank you so much for loving us. And Lord, you not only love us, but you take care of us daily. Lord, we don't even know all the things that you save us from. And I'm so, so thankful. Thank you for providing for our needs according to your riches. I thank you for opening our eyes to see you, our ears to hear you, Father, um, in everyday life, Lord. Thank you so, so much. But more than anything, thank you for Jesus, who because of him, we can get to spend eternity with you in heaven, Father. I want to pray specifically um, that we will bring glory to you, um, Lord, in our lives, um, that our lives will glorify you, that people, when they see us, that they'll see you, Father. I thank you so much um, that you've saved us again, that you have a plan for us, Lord. And I pray for those loved ones of ours who don't yet know you. Lord, we all have somebody on our minds who our soul just aches for them because they don't know you, Father. Please, please, will you have mercy on their souls, Father, just like we're not worthy. They are not worthy, but you are worthy. Will you save them because you're worthy. Your kingdom is worthy, Father. And um, please, please be merciful to them. Please, Father, please, we pray. We pray lastly um, that you'll help us to live the life each day that you would have us to, that you'll give boldness to share the gospel. And I pray specifically for that one person that we were thinking about, Lord. Will you please give us an opportunity, Lord, and give us that boldness um, to be able to, to share your love, Father. When we think about eternity, we think about what's to come, Lord. Um, it, it, it puts a fire in our hearts to tell them about um, you now, Lord, because they can't choose at the gate. Father, please, please go before us. Protect us from the schemes of the enemy, Lord. Please give us boldness for your name's sake. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We invite you to join us tomorrow for our daily three, and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.